Yo, what is good, my anime people? What is good, yo? Uh, I'm playing certain games because I'm trying to platinum stuff, so do bear in there with me if you don't care for the gameplay, but we still got to talk about my gym partner or my cooking partner as a wolf and just what this episode did for me in a really weird way actually I was not expecting um, I felt some type of like I actually felt like there was a, a well done uh, moments in here which I was not expecting to feel as a whole like if you told me I was going to uh, wait if you told me I was going to be feeling like any type of emotion towards these animal characters and stuff, I would have thought it was a joke because it just seems like a funny show and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, I really did enjoy seeing this growth of them uh, from everything they've gone to till now. It's actually really awesome to see because not only <laughs> the only problem was the human guy calling every single one of them dumb like we get it bro you don't want to let them know you even like them and remotely so you just you know insult them and stuff but <laughs> it's such a funny way to be um you know he's insulting them but at the same time he's trying to like give them praise and tell them that what they're doing is right and stuff like that so it's just this very contradicting thing of him to be super negative towards them talking trash. But really, at the end of the day, he wants them to win. He wants them to come out on top in this week's episode. So I thought that was hilarious. I thought it was well done um, and needed because his character kind of seems like an ignorant person in the case of just knowing what he wants or knowing that what he's doing is not right and because he's still doing it and not really getting like it's not like the characters that he's calling dumb are like how how could you call me that and you know getting worked up over it they almost like accept it so somehow his pet nicknames for them is just calling them dumb and then whatever animal they are like dumb koala dumb sloth and dumb dog <laughs> like uh, I was like is this is this really gonna keep happening but it makes sense because that's how he's trying to save face that's how he's trying to uh, pay dividends to the time where he was treated like crap for trying to help out another person or you know trying to help out this dog and winding up getting picked on by some bears I believe yeah those bears so we'll see how all this like changes over time if he actually starts calling them by name or if he just takes this the dumb out of every single talk that he has with them you know stuff like that can happen um i just don't know if it will happen right um he seems pretty set in his ways to be calling them that not only that it it helps with his uh persona of oh, I don't, I don't care about these animals, you know, like, I only like this human girl, so that's why I call him dumb, and this and that, and so it, it saves face for him to not, uh, have any types of feelings towards him, which, which is smart on his part, because if you want to have somebody like you, but yet you have this pack leader licking you in the face, it might be hard for her to believe that you don't have some type of feelings or something. So he's making abundantly clear that all of the feelings or all of the affection is just coming from the other side and not his side. So good luck. <laughs> good luck on getting, you know, to wherever he's trying to get with the human girl. Because as of today, we saw some of the assets that she actually brings to the table, if you know what I'm saying by assets. <laughs> no? Um, and that that was really a surprise. I never, I didn't expect any, like, human, I didn't expect her to just be, like, undressing and the camera just be zoomed all up in there. 
So that's another interesting part of this show that I did not predict to happen. I mean, we did see the naked mole rat, like, undress and stuff. But it's a naked mole rat. Like, it hates clothes, you know? So that... It was more of a funny joke on, uh, like, it was a funny reason why she was undressing compared to this swimming thing happening and she just happens to get undressed and we get the, the front row seats, you know, so that was completely just them trying to give some action up. Even though it was really short, uh, you know, I feel like these types of things and these shows are getting shortened, you know, for good reason. And for instance it's like a frame of her being in her bra and then it's just over you know so no one's really sitting or the shows aren't really sitting on these moments and trying to make it the the end all be all of what people get to see at this moment and stuff which i like because i don't think it's necessary right like do we really need to see this girl's normal basic bra to get any understanding of the show, right? Like, the only thing it gave to us is that she was going to be in a swimming outfit from then on out, right? (laughs) Like, okay, this is why she's in a swimming outfit, and this is also why she didn't go swimming. So, instead of the chimpanzees taking her out or, like, you know, making her faint before she gets in her swimsuit, they made sure to allow her to do that for the fans, you know? So, there's always that. But overall, I hope you guys are having an amazing day, night, evening, whatever the case may be, because I definitely will be looking forward to hearing from you guys and seeing your reactions to this episode of our cooking club absolutely becoming the Beast Club, because not only did the um, information from Oh Boy, like... The information from our human guy really put into perspective what they needed to do, who was going to be good at what, and if they didn't have this information, they might have put someone else in the arm wrestling competition and lost, or they might have put someone in the whatever, you know what I'm talking about. (laughs) Um, But yeah, I think they did an amazing job this week. I felt myself rooting for the sloth girl. More than I expected myself to be. Uh, I really wanted her to win. And I'm glad that she at least got to show her classmates and everybody around her that when she really wants to do something, you should believe in her. Because she will actually somehow manage to maybe get it done if you do. Not only that, every single person was cheering her on. Almost as if she's the only sloth that exists. So they all kind of know what it is like for the sloths to try to compete with anybody including how many times she dies on the daily holy crap so i hope you guys are having an amazing one i definitely hope to talk to you sooner than later and oh i did not mean to do that but with all that being said i will talk to you later and yeah uh let me know if you guys are watching the show and if you aren't and you're just here supporting the video thank you so much it's much appreciated And I am your boy, the Anime G. Let me make sure I get these weapons equipped. There we go. And I'll talk to you in the next one, people. So with that, later.